वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम इलेवन डैश फिफ्टी वन सो स्टेटमेंट इज सेलेक्ट द लाइटेस्ट वेट स्टील वाइट फ्लैंज बीम फ्रॉम अपेंडिक्स बी दैट विल सेफली सपोर्ट द लोडिंग शोन द अलाउेबल बेंडिंग स्ट्रेस इज ट्वेंटी टू के एस आई एंड अलाउेबल शेयरिंग स्ट्रेस इज ट्वेंटी टू के एस आई सो यू कैन सी दिस इज अम्पली सपोर्टेड बीम दैट इज एक्टेड अपॉन बाई थ्री डिफरेंट कंसनट्रेटेड लोड एट वेरियस पॉइंट दैट इज एट केप्स टेन केप्स एंड एट केप्स and you have to select the lightest white flange beam for this loading so let's start with the solution so as we know that uh, maximum bending stress is equal to maximum bending moment divided by required section modulus so from here you know that required section modulus will be equal to maximum bending moment divided by maximum or allowable bending stress so we will find this required section modulus for this loading so how we will do this so let start finding this so you can see this figure of the beam with given loading so if you remove this support at point a so you will be having a reaction force r a and if you remove this support at point b so you will be having a reaction force which is represented as r b now we will find this r a and r b by using equation of equilibrium so first equation of equilibrium is sum of all moment about point b is equal to 0 so about point b the first moment is 8 into perpendicular distance is 10 this is counter clockwise so it will be positive the second is 10 into total distance is 15 and this is producing counter clockwise so it will be also positive the third moment will be 8 into perpendicular distance is now 20 and this is also counter clock so it will be positive and the fourth moment is r a into perpendicular distance is 30 and that is negative their sum must be equal to 0 so i will write them one by one so 8 into 10 plus 10 into 15 Plus eight into twenty and minus thirty into R A is equal to zero. So this will give you eighty plus one fifty plus one sixty minus thirty R A is equal to zero. And the sum of these three will give you three ninety minus thirty R A is equal to zero. So from here you will get R A will be equal to Thirteen k. So this is the value of reaction force at R A. Now you can find the another uh, R A by using this equilibrium condition and forces upward taken as positive. So R A is upward plus R B is upward. Rest these three are downward, so they will be negative. So R A which is thirteen minus eight plus ten, sorry minus ten. Minus eight plus R B is equal to zero. So thirteen minus twenty six plus R B is equal to zero, and from here you will get R B is also equal to thirteen k. Now you have both R A and R B, so you can just move and draw the shear force and bending moment diagram. from where we will get the maximum bending moment so what we will do is that if you draw the vertical lines from the end of the beam okay and there is a horizontal line to show the length x in in feet so this is your point here we will draw the shear force that will be in kips let each division is of 5 unit 5 kips so 5 10 and that is 15 minus 5 minus 10 and this is minus 15 now you can see that at r at point a you have r a which is 13 so let 13 is this point and you can see that moving from r a to 8 kips load there is no other load so it will remain same at till this point so i will draw horizontal line till this point so this is 13 now at this point you have a 
8 kips load that is acting downwards so 13 minus 8 will give you 5 so shear force will change to 5 and this will go downward this is 5 it will be a vertical line okay now moving from this five uh, this to this there is no other load so this will remain same and we will get a horizontal line till this point now at this point there is a load of 10 kips downwards so 5 minus 10 will give you minus 5 so shear force will change to minus 5 and it will go down to this point this is minus 5 again moving from this minus 5 till this point you can see there is no load so it will remain same but at this point you have minus 8 so minus 5 minus 8 will give you minus 13 so shear force will change to minus 13 let this is minus 13 and now it will be remain same till end and we have at end and rb which is plus 13 which will bring it to zero so this is your shear force diagram now we will draw the bending moment diagram so for that i have to draw horizontal line to show the length in feet there so and there will be movement that will be in kips into feet let each box is of 50 kilo kips into feet so 100 and that is 150 etc so first area under the shear force diagram is this area and this area is equal to 13 multiplied by 10 which is equal to 130 so at this point we have to plot 130 so let 130 lies somewhere here and you can see that shear force is a horizontal line with zero degrees so bending moment will be one degree higher and slope will be increasing so this will be your first point 130 now second area under the shear force diagram is this one and this area is equal to 5 multiplied by 5 which is equal to 25 so 130 plus 25 will equal to 155 so first second point will be 155 so let this is 155 also the shear force is a horizontal line with zero degrees of bending moment will be one degree higher and slope will be increasing so this will be your second point now the third area under the shear force diagram is this one and this is minus 25 so plus 155 minus 25 will bring it to 130 again so at this point we will having 130 again now shear force is a horizontal degree line and this area is negative so bending moment will be will be one degree higher and slope will be decreasing so we will get it like this this is 130 the last area is this one and this area is equal to minus 13 multiplied by this 10 which is equal to minus 130 so plus 130 minus 130 will equal to zero at this point and we will get the bending moment curve like this slope will be decreasing because the area is negative so this is your bending moment diagram so from this bending moment diagram from bending moment diagram bmd we will get maximum bending stress comes out to be 155 kips into feet so if you convert it into inch so it will be 155 into 12 multiply by kips into inch this is your maximum bending moment now we know that required section modulus from the above this equation is equal to maximum bending moment divided by uh, allowable stress so maximum bending moment is 155 into 12 kips into inch divided by allowable stress is given as 22 ksi so that is 22 ksi so when you calculate it you will get required section modulus comes out to be 84.55 cubic inch now this is the required section modulus we will go to appendix b of the book and we will check 
which one is to select so you can see here you have to go to appendix and appendix b wide flange beam so your uh, unit should be in pounds and feet so you can see this is so w uh, uh sorry required section modulus 84.55 so this is the section modulus so you can locate 84.55 so 84.55 is not available so the nearest one is this one so you can see this is w18 by 50 and its depth or height is 17.99 and thickness of web is 0 0.355 so we will pick these two values and w18 by 50 so we'll go back so from appendix appendix b we select w18 by 50 and its depth d is equal to 17.99 inch and thickness of web is equal to 0 0.355 inch okay so we will also check it for shear stress whether it's set uh, it's uh, it satisfy the shear stress or not so we know that uh, maximum sharing stress is equal to v max divided by thickness of web into height so maximum sharing stress from the shear force diagram you can see is 13 or minus 13 but absolute value is 13 so 13 divided by thickness of web is 0. 355 and height is 17.99 so when you calculate it will be 2.04 ksi which is obviously less than allowable sharing stress that is given as in the given data which is 22 ksi so it means that this beam is okay so we can use w 18 by 50 for above loading and this was all about this problem 11.51 i hope you have enjoyed this video again if you are new to my channel then subscribe it and press the bell icon so that you can get notification about latest video if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching